In IOTA, the word weight can be used in different ways. You have own weight, cumulative weight, and minimum weight magnitude. In this video, I will explain what these three words mean. Every transaction has an initial weight, called the own weight, and can have the values 1, 3, 9, etc. is 3 to the power of n. The own weight is determined by the effort put by its issuing node. For this tutorial, it is not important to know how this value is calculated. The cumulative weight of a transaction is the transaction own weight plus the sum of all weights of all transactions that directly or indirectly approve this transaction. The small numbers, these numbers, are the transaction's own weight. The bold numbers, these numbers, are the transaction cumulative weight. For example, transaction F is directly or indirectly approved by transaction A, B, C, and E. If I look at uh, transaction A, it indirectly approves transaction F. Transaction B directly approves transaction F. Transaction C indirectly approves transaction F, as you can see over here. And transaction E directly approves transaction F. The cumulative weight of F is 9, which is the sum of the own weight of F, 3, and the own weights of A, B, C, and E. 3 plus 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7, plus 1 is 8, plus 1 is 9. And that is the value 9. Let's try another example. Transaction D is directly or indirectly approved by transactions A, B, and C. The cumulative weight of D is 6, which is the sum of the own weight of D, which is 1, and the own weights of A, B, and C. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 3 is 5, plus 1 is 6. The cumulative weight is a very important metric for transactions on its way to network approval. A transaction with a larger cumulative weight is more important than a transaction with a smaller cumulative weight. Each new transaction added to the tangle increases the ancestor's cumulative weight by the weight of that transaction. All the transactions grow in importance over time. The use of cumulative weights avoids spamming and other attack styles. It is assumed that no entity can generate an abundance of transactions with acceptable cumulative weights in a short period of time. The minimum weight magnitude is the difficulty of proof of work. IOTA's proof of work algorithm is similar to Hashcash. The minimum weight magnitude is the number of trailing zeros. A simplified explanation how Hashcash works. Let's assume the minimum weight magnitude is set to 4. Here is the transaction data and you append the counter and then you hash this value. You will get this result. And if you look at the trailing four digits, the proof of work is not okay. You increase the counter and you apply the hash. You will get a different hash value. At a certain counter value, you will get this hashed value. As you can see, this hashed value has four trailing zeros. In this example, the proof of work is okay. So your proof of work is done. And this is how hash cache works. On the mainnet, the minimum weight magnitude is set to 14. This applies to the IOTA reference implementation release version 1.4.1.2. On the test net, the minimum weight magnitude is set to 9. This applies to the IOTA reference implementation release version testnet version 1.4.1.2. Higher minimum weight magnitude value should be no problem, but will just cause the proof of work to take longer unnecessarily. The minimum weight magnitude changes. See file configuration.java. This is the IOTA GitHub page. If you want to know what the minimum weight magnitude is, select IOTA reference implementation, select releases. If you want to know the minimum weight magnitude, on the mainnet, then select the latest release version. 
in this case, mainnet version 1.4.1.2. Click this link. As you can see, version 1.4.1.2. Select source, select main, select this link, select conf, and select configuration.java file. If you scroll down, you can see the minimum weight magnitude is set to 14. If you want to know what the minimum weight magnitude is on the testnet, select the latest testnet release version. This is the latest testnet release version. Click on this link, click source, click main, click this link, click conf, and click this link. Scroll down. And as you can see over here, the minimum weight magnitude is 9 on testnet. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.